Hello Cancers. This is your mid-month reading. This reading is going to take us through to the end of the month. This reading is for my Cancers. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. Okay. Please show me the energy around Cancers for the remainder of the month. The energy around Cancers for the remainder of the month. We have a Queen of Swords here, somebody that's in search of the truth, somebody that wants to know about some sort of circumstance that happened in the past. This person is very no nonsense, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This could be your energy that you're emanating right now, or this could be somebody that is around you, their energy. But um, this is a card of the divorcee, somebody that's been hurt, somebody that um, uh, feels like they want some sort of retribution even. That's in the center of your reading. <clears throat> what is challenging or crossing cancers the ace of pentacles i feel like you want to know if you're going to be all in this or not okay what are we doing i think this is for you to figure out whether you want to be in this or not but I feel like there's something that you need to figure out. There's something that you want to know first before you make that decision. Hmm. Let's see what the foundation for your reading is. What is the foundation for Cancer's reading? What is the foundation? Huh. A lot of cards want to flip over here. And I just, let me take these two because I saw those. And that was a chariot and the six of pentacles i feel like this is this is very strong here this taurus cancer energy you're wondering how can you how can you move forward and truly have something with somebody if you don't know if this person's going to be able to step up to the plate, if they're going to be able to give you what you give them. And, th and you know that's the only way you can be successful. A lot of you guys are wondering by somebody's actions that they've already shown you, can this work? Can you be together? Well, you're questioning whether or not something can really happen and be successful here. You have your doubts. I see that. What was going on in the recent past for Cancer? Eight of Swords. A lot of worrying going on. Feeling trapped in your own thoughts. Needing to just be still. Um, there, and this card is indicative of a lot of things that have happened in your past. A lot of experiences. Okay? And these experiences are not so good. It's a thing. So there's definitely some history with somebody here. I feel like you are really examining and when you think about that history and what you've actually gone through and been through with this person, it, it really makes you question whether or not you guys can make it, whether you can be together, whether you can be successful and truly start a, um, a, a committed relationship here. It's got you like really wondering and putting this relationship under a microscope. Hmm. That's Gemini energy there with the Eight of Swords. Crowning thoughts for Cancer. Cancer's crowning thoughts. That one won't stick out. Seven of Cups. Now, with the Seven of Cups energy, you're like, you know, you want this person. You definitely want them to be an option for you. And they are an option for you. They are definitely an option. But the thing is, you have something else going on, I feel, where even if things don't work out with this person, there are other things that you can get into, is what I'm getting here, okay? 
maybe somebody else that is involved in this situation. I don't know if this person is a better option or you care for this person more, but I definitely feel like if it's not a person that you have an option of, there are situations that you know that you can place yourself into where you won't have to think about this a lot. And the only reason why you're thinking so heavily about it now is because you are still weighing whether or not this can work out. So this is Scorpio energy here with the Seven of Cups. What is coming in for Cancer? What's coming in for Cancer? Okay, just come on out there. A revelation. If you're wondering what to do, because I see you are here with the Queen of Swords, you're trying to figure some shit out, like by their past actions, by their actions now, um, can we? work this thing out can we be a solid couple I feel like there's there's gonna be a reveal there's gonna be an aha moment here I do feel like some of you you know you're thinking you the, the, your thoughts about this relationship with this person it's almost like you're putting too much stock into it um, you're wanting it to be too perfect or something like that for some of you. I get that some of you are really going to be happy. I feel like um, there's a need for some of you to kind of let your guard down here with this Queen of Swords energy and not be so in your head and, you know, just cutting with your words, okay? That's Leo energy there. How is Cancer viewing their situation? How is Cancer viewing their situation? The Knight of Cups. One minute you love their ass, and the next minute you're ready to hit it. <laughs> it's like you're in and out. You're up and down. I feel like you're on like this um, emotional roller coaster. And right now you are on the, the, the downward turn here with this Queen of Swords energy. And then tomorrow you're going to be happy. I mean, it's like that kind of energy. You're like in and out. One minute you love their ass and one minute you can't stand them. That's kind of like this toxic relationship. It's not that stable. If your emotions are constantly up and down, in and out. It's not that stable. Okay. Again, Scorpio energy. What is the influence here for Cancer? Eight of Pentacles. You really want to work on this. You feel like this relationship is worth working on. But I do feel that, you know, give it a chance. Maybe not put such strict guidelines on something here. Because I can see you definitely wanting to work on it and you feel like it's worth it. This Virgo energy. There's also a need to work on yourself. You know, are you expecting too much? I'm not saying that you are, but, you know, it's just worth looking at, right? Hopes or fears for cancer. Hopes or fears for cancer. Ace of Cups. You want that love. Some of you want to... Um, Kind of revitalize a situation you're hoping that the love is still there um you're hoping that this person genuinely loves you even hmm what is the overall outcome here for cancer overall outcome for cancer the tower again that scorpio energy there's a lot of instability here and there is a breakup or somebody moving house, um, a parting of ways. There's something that's happening towards the end of this month on into June. And I feel like it's happening because there is such instability in this situation. Um, the ups and the downs is, is going to make this come crashing down. So somebody needs to decide, you know, is this worth 
working on and building, um, cutting out all of these thoughts, letting go of things from the past, not being so uh, rigid and um, and strict with your, you know, what your expectations and what you want. Okay. So a lot of Scorpio energy is here. We have Leo, Virgo, Gemini energy is present. Taurus is here as well. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon.